Now we'll go over the, the basic rules for adding numbers with multiple digits. And again, this is stuff you should already know, but we'll review it quickly here uh, just to make sure you have it down, and I'll make some comments along the way. Let's look at this example, 57 plus 32. These are both two-digit numbers, and when we add them up, it helps to write them such that all the ones digits are in the same column and all the tens digits are in the same column. So the ones digit from the 57 is right above the ones digit from the from the 32 and so on. And then when you have it like that, you can just add them together. Seven ones plus two ones gives me nine ones. And I can add the seven and the two because they both represent the same thing. They represent ones. I can add this five and this three because they both represent the same thing. Five tens and three tens give me eight tens. So I have an eight here in the tens place in my answer. It's just like adding five apples plus three apples gives me eight apples. I can add those because they both represent the same type of thing. I can add the five and the three because they are both tens. They're the same type of thing. So that's the idea, and let's look at a, a couple of more examples. 54 plus 21. Well, I can add the ones. 4 and 1 is 5. 4 ones plus 1 1 is 5 ones. And 5 tens plus 2 tens is 7 tens. So I have a 7 in the tens column in my answer. And let's look at a three-digit number. 723 plus 252. Again, I can add the ones, three and two add up to five ones. I add the tens, the two and the five give me seven tens, and then the hundreds, seven hundreds plus two hundreds gives me, gives me nine hundreds. And you'll notice that I've been starting in the ones place and then moving to the higher places. So I start on the right side and, and move to the left. Next, we'll talk about carrying and I'll show you what this means with an example look at this 47 plus 28 if I want to add these in many many cases when I add the two digits the 7 and the 8 for example I end up with a number that has more than one digit 7 plus 8 is 15 and I have to carry a digit to the next column if I add the 7 and the 8 I get 15 that's five ones and that one there represents one ten so when I add those, 7 and 8, and get a 15, I have to put my 5 here, and then, then I stick the 1 in the tens column because that's what it is. It really is a 10. It represents 1, 10. So I put it up there, and then I add it along with the other tens. That 4 represents 4 tens, and the 2 represents 2 tens. And 1 and 4 and 2 add up to 7. So 75 is my answer. And sometimes I have to carry more than once. Look at this example. 489 plus 768. Okay, let's add these up. 9 plus 8, remember I start on the right side. 9 plus 8 is 17. So that I put the 7 there and I put the 1 up here. I put that in the tens column because it really is a 10. And now I add up all the numbers in the tens column. 8 and 1 is 9 and 6 is 15. So I put my 5 there, and then I carry the 1 again. I'm adding in the tens column, so this is 15 tens. So this 1 has to go into the next column, which is the hundreds. And then I add 1 and 4, which gives me 5, and add the 7, and I get a 12. And I end up with 1,257 for my answer. And just for practice, we'll work through a few examples and just make sure we understand the process. 9 plus 3, here I start at the right-hand column in the 1's column. 9 and 3 is 12, so I put down the 2 and carry the 1. 7 plus 1 plus 1 is 9, so I just write down the 9. There's nothing to, to carry there. And then 8 plus 3 is 11, so I put the 11 right there, and that's my answer, 1,192. The next example, I start here. 5 plus 1 is 6 nothing to carry. Then 6 plus 8 is 14, and I have to carry the 1. 8 and 5 is 13, and then I have to add that 1 also, so that's 14 again, and I carry the 1. 
and then I add the 6 and the 1, I, and I get a 7. So 7,446 is the answer. You can also add more than two numbers. You could add three or even more. Um, again, I always start at the right-hand column. Seven and five is 12, and one more is 13. So I put the three and carry the one. Then nine and that one right above it is 10, plus two is 12, plus three is 15. So I put the five down, carry the one. I add those two sevens, that gives me a 14, plus that 1 is 15, plus that 2 is 17, so I put the 7 down, carry the 1. Then I have a 3 and a 1 is a 4, and I add that 6, that gives me a 10, so I have to write a 0 here and carry the 1. And then I add the 4 and the 1, and I get 5, so 50,753.